Hi there, welcome back. Well, we had a little bit of a technical problem there. Uh, so let's continue with our use of English part two. Okay, so we had lie, bluff, falsehood and fib. And we said fib, for example, is a small lie. Uh, a bluff is when you pretend you've got more than you have, for example. Um, so we've got forge, disguise, impersonate and fake. The word forge from number three. Okay, forge and to fake are more criminal, shall we say, to forge a signature, okay, to forge uh, another person's name uh, or to fake something, for example, to fake uh, money, okay, to make money that's not real. Impersonate, usually somebody tries to assume the character of somebody, often for fun, but I suppose it could be, for example, if you wanted to trick somebody to make money. You could impersonate uh, being a police officer. And disguise, to disguise is to, well, yes, to wear clothes or, or various pieces of makeup to alter, change your appearance so you look different. Okay, next one. Make-believe, mythical, mock and fictitious. Okay. All adjectives to say that something is not true. So we talk about a make-believe, it's invented, mythical, I think we know, yeah, from myth. Uh, mock is not real. For example, a practice exam we would call a mock exam. It's something you do as practice before, okay? And fictitious, fictitious is um, just is not true, okay? Completely and often used in completely fictitious account. Yeah, dishonest, fictitious. Uh, hoax, indeed, pronunciation. Hoax, scam, fraud and prank. Okay, the, uh, sorry, all nouns for an act which is not true or it's, it's an act which you do to make somebody believe something that isn't true. Okay, the difference, well, a hoax or a prank, especially a prank, are, mm, shall we say, funny, okay, or not really serious, okay, you might make on, um, what's that day, the day of the innocent saints in Spain, in England it's the 1st of April, you might play a hoax, you know, invent a story that's not true for everybody to believe, a prank is a little joke, um, as we said, played a prank on the teacher. Um, a scam is an informal word for a fraud, and they are both basically talking about mm, criminal or, or certainly unethical ways of gaining advantage or making money. And E, honest, authentic, above board and candid. Okay. Authentic means real. It's an authentic... Um, pair of Converse shoes, <laughs> okay, not fakes, authentics. Uh, candid is honest, but very, you have a candid conversation, but you tell the person the truth, even though it might be not what they want to hear, a candid discussion. Again, we've got that idea of coll collocation. We need to have a candid discussion. We need to say exactly what we think, okay? So, these kind of ideas of words which have a different meaning is tested, as we know, in use the first section uh, in the reading and use of English paper. Okay, there you have a long text, and after it you have four words one, where you need to choose the correct word for each space. First thing we need to do is read the text to get an idea. It will help you feel and get an, an idea of the meaning that for each tech, each space. So read the text quickly and decide what do recent tests show. Okay, so pause the video, read the text, don't answer the questions yet. Okay, so what do the recent tests show? Well, surprisingly, that, well, surprisingly, maybe not, but uh, lying can be a, a sign of creativity. Okay, suppose not really surprising really it means you need to invent and, and, and find this alternative view of seeing something well now that we've uh, read the text quickly 
we need to read the article and complete the article with the correct option A, B, C or D. Read it through, think about the difference of meanings of each word. Remember, look at, for collocations. Okay. Are there words which go either before or after, which strongly link to one of the words? If the words are very similar, think about whether they've got maybe a positive or a negative idea. Look for prepositions. Remember, as it says, sometimes the reason for choosing an option may be because of a slight difference in a meaning. Or sometimes you may need to consider the form. Is it a verb pattern? Okay. Or maybe a dependent preposition. Okay, so I'd like you to do that task and send it to me. Okay, and we'll uh, and um, I'll have a look at it and tell you how you did. Okay, so there you go. Do you agree that creativity and deception go hand in hand? Very possibly, yes. I think it could well be. So uh, we'll stop there. So remember, I'll send you a, a practice exam. Don't forget to do the exercises that I'm setting you and send me send them to me and register to do the extra work on gold experience C1. Okay, so have a nice Easter. See you later. Keep your eyes on the website because there will be extra things going up and we'll be back after Easter. Okay, goodbye.